What's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy. With me, your host, Jan. I hope you're all doing well today, mate. I really do hope that. How are you doing? If you're doing well, let me know down in the comment section below because I want to hear it, man. Welcome to your match preview of Chelsea versus the Blades. That's right, the final game before the international break in Chelsea have a decent to really good opportunity to continue their superb unbeaten run. Maybe get their sixth clean sheet in a row, their seventh in eight games. I think that's right. Let's have it right, man. We're in a good place right now. We're shuttling towards greatness. Shuttling? You know what I'm saying. We're doing well. And Chris Wilder, Sheffield, are due a win. They look poor this season. Doesn't mean we're going to have it in the bag, though. Whenever a team is due a win and they're playing Chelsea, oh yes, you can bet I'm terrified. So anyway, today's video, I'm going to give you a predicted lineup, predicted score, talk about the game a little bit. Settle in, make yourself comfortable. Please do drop a like on the video. It does help me out a lot, man. And quickly, I just wanted to ask, do you have the bell notifications icon turned on? Because so many of my viewers aren't getting notified when I upload, so it's important that you have the bell turned on. So if you're not subscribed, consider doing so and putting the bell on. <laughs> and all you beautiful subs, make sure it's turned on. All right then, let's get into the video. Right, so notable stuff to talk about about this game would be Kai Havertz is obviously tested positive for the big Rona. Hopefully he's on the mend already, but he won't be able to feature in this game. Also, another notable absentee from the Sheffield side of the pitch would be Ethan Ampadu, who has found his way into the starting 11 for Chris Wilder's side. Obviously, he's a Chelsea player, and as the rules go, you cannot play against your parent club in the Premier League, so we won't have to deal with that kid somehow haunting us. <laughs> <laughs> which is good, which is good ultimately. I'm not so sure Christian Pulisic's gonna be back in fit so quickly. Now, I know what you're saying at this point, Jan, why are you doing a match preview before the uh, Frank Lampard press conference? I don't know why you'd have an American accent. Basically, I don't have that much time, and let's be real, we know the deal. Christian Pulisic's probably not fit to return, and Kai Havertz is out, and Billy Gilmore's probably not ready to start. There you go, there's your Frank Lampard press conference for you. So we move and I can talk about the game a little bit more. Right, we're gonna go through my lineup, so let's switch over screens and show you who I want to field in this game. A boom, boom, as you can see, it's a 4 3 3 yet again. Why stop it? Why stop something that's so, so good? And if everyone's done the appropriate recovery, why stop the continuity that's seen us this far? I see a back five of Mendy and Goal. Chilwell at left back, Rhys James at right back, and the continuation of the centre back partnership of Thiago Silva and Kurt Lazuman's Zuma. Yes, Kai Havertz is out, and we are short one attacking eight. It's times like these you thought, oh, it would have been nice to keep Roy Ruben off the cheek or Barkley, you know. But still, I see Frank Lampard trusting the midfield he trusted last time out. Putting Jorginho as the CDM, putting Mason Mount in his favoured left central midfield position where he plays so well, and N'Golo Kante in the right central midfield uh, formation location. Oh my god, I'm rhyming again. Perhaps Mateo Kovacic might start this game. I'd be very happy to see him start, but if not, maybe off the bench and he'll probably come on for, like, say, a Jorginho and Kante drops down to the CDM like last time out. So that kind of works. There's functionality there. Now, I don't think Christian is going to be fit to start, even though Frank Lampard might make me look like a fool later in this press conference. So I'm going to say... Timo Werner off the left. Yes, that's right. No Kalamats in the door to start, even though we'd all like it. I might be pleasantly surprised and see him starting, but maybe he's just not ready yet. But hopefully he features in this game one way or another. Tammy Abraham up front and on the right wing, new superstar signing, Hakim Ziyech, provided he's good to go again. So that's my starting 11 and the two say most likely substitutions, I think would be Mateo Kovacic and Callum hudson the doy and who knows, maybe like Giroud or whatever, someone like that. So anyway, that's my starting 11. Let's talk about the game a little bit more. A notable thing here is that Tammy Abraham is starting again up front. Now, I wanted to talk about him because he's developing loads as a player at the moment. He's average playing position on the pitch is like around the midfield he's playing as like a really tall false nine which you rarely ever see but he's dropping incredibly deep he's holding up the ball well so not just the wingers can advance but the attacking eights as well so pretty much 
four attackers, maybe even the wing backs. Like, so many people can get in front of him. And yes, he'll still run forward and poach a goal <laughs> like he did in the Champions League. So Tammy's developing as a player and that's a really good thing to see and I'm really, really happy to, to say this here in Football Therapy because a lot of people were concerned about him. We knew, yes, given a bunch of chances, he can score a few goals in the Premier League and he can poach him in, which he's still doing, which is great. But he's obviously seen what's happening around him at Chelsea and think, you know, damn, like, obviously I was competing with Giroud who was in form at the end of last season. Now Timo Vern is here and he means business. So, you know, I've got to start developing my game to maybe try and help these new superstars to make me a bit more of a valuable player, which he's done. And he's still so young, Tammy Abraham. He's got a good goals uh, return generally, even if he underperformed his XG last season. But I'm happy he's developing his game and that's super good to see. Now, how's this game gonna go, man? Well, Chris Wilder is a great coach. He's done excellent things with Sheffield, taking them up through the leagues. He's, you know, they should build a statue of him. He's got an incredible story. He uh, had a great season last season. Everyone thought they were gonna be in like the top seven European spots, do you know what I mean? But they dropped off and I think they finished about 10th in the end, which still, of course, is an incredible season for uh, Chris Wilder and Sheffield as their first season back in the Premier League. Now, I watched Chelsea versus Sheffield last season at Stamford Bridge, 2-0 up by Tammy Abraham Brace. And I remember at the game, I was thinking, Frank Lampard's Blues, we've arrived. And obviously we've conceded, was it two Callum Robinson goals? Again, that guy just haunts us with any Premier League team he plays in. Anyway, the game ended 2-2. And that was like early doors signs of Frank Lampard's Chelsea showing mental fragility, like defensive fragility. But this is the new 2.0 Lamp Frankie Lampard's Showtime Blues. So the defense is there, the goalkeeper is there, the midfield's solid, and the attackers are fresh. They can't score goals, Sheffield, man. They can't score goals. So with that, I've got to, <laughs> I've got to put in a positive prediction, which I'm going to do. Let's think about this. The thing is, I keep predicting that Chelsea are going to concede one, and then they don't. But it's coming. I feel like it's coming. I mean, and that's okay. But are they, is it coming in this game? I'm going to predict a 2-0 Chelsea win. So yes, another clean sheet. Six on the trot which is amazing, a couple of goals, who's gonna score them? I'm gonna say Timo Werner will score one, hey, maybe a penalty, because you know, he takes penalties now. And I'm gonna predict a Tammy Abraham goal as well. Why not? That sounds good. Tammy and Timo on the gut score sheet for a two nil win. That's what I think. But what do you guys think? Get down into the comment section below. Make sure you comment what you think is going to happen in the game, who's going to start and the scores. I'll be down there reading them, so see that you do. Make sure you drop a like on the video, because it really does help me out a lot, uh, liking the video. It helps the algorithm, apparently. And you might want to help me out, so consider doing so. That's very kind of you. What else? Is there any other plugs? I don't know. You could follow me on Instagram at Football Yannick. I post every single day on Instagram, so you might want to come and see some be beautiful photos of my mug or some Chelsea footballers, etc. Um, that's probably it, man. So enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby